Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Dang and Rampa. I'm Karen Maku, and I'm Doom Dragon. Okay, so uh, the, the, what happened last time? We got alter ego from here. We gotta go s third floor bathroom or what? Second floor bathroom? I don't remember. One of the bathrooms. Third floor? I think. It's third or fourth? Floor. Yeah. <laughs> Just filled my mouth with spit like a fucking alpaca. Even though it's not actually spit. It's not spit, it's and you worse. should feel sad if it's if they <laughs> spit on you. Yeah, if they spit on you, you should feel really bad. It's actually stomach bile. Are you, is it... Is it... Is it this one? <laughs> I don't know. Click on it and find out. Hey. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's mad at me! <laughs> oh no, she was telling us to double check that all the documents were gone. Oh, whatever. And I think we just glistened over all that. Yeah, it's okay. I don't need to hear from her. It's fine. Glistened over isn't the right thing, but you know what? Whatever. Well, okay, I'll add to the conversation. You okay, hun? No. <laughs> good, good job, honey. Yay! Real, real mature content here. Yeah, who said we Someone, were mature? Someone's gonna masturbate to that. Cool. I hope they subscribe. <laughs> I hope they like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> what? I'm just very upset about this development. Okay, first you have to find the network cable. There it is. It's in the drawer. I, I can't look at these? No. Okay. In the desk. Open the desk! Fine! <laughs> According to, Yoko, uh, according to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Can her name be Yoko? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. hmm. Found it. This is a network cable, right? <laughs> no, it's an HDMI cord, idiot. Now we just have to connect Alter Ego. I immediately got to work. Then the mastermind comes up and hits us again. <laughs> Get another concussion. I pulled out the laptop and connected it, uh, connected it to the Ethernet port with the cable. And that should do it. Um, that's yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll, I'll see if I can call for help. So, so please just wait a little while longer. I'm just hold, just hold tight. That. And put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all the rest of us. As friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Yay! Makoto. Yeah, hey, hey, bitch, I'm sorry I went over your dialogue over, like, earlier. <laughs> uh. Sorry, I just completely glazed over what you were saying. How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all the um, documents were gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I know it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, that much was for sure. Uh, Kyoko. Uh, yo what? Yoko, please. <sighs> Yogurt, please. Yogurt. <laughs> Oh, she's, she said blueberry yogurt. That always somehow ends up purple. Yeah. Yes. So... Oh, sorry. Alright, fine then, motherfucker. <laughs> well, you read faster. <laughs> ah! <laughs> of course, I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Alright, well, that hurts my feelings. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble to, for something to say? You're so high maintenance. Alright, well, that hurts my feelings. That's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done. That it, It's true. However... But the way things are going right now, there's no way to pers uh, to persuade anyone. They don't have... They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we do? So... If we can find some new clues, that would likely change the situation. That's all, like... That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why Alter Ego... Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. <laughs> we parted ways and I headed back to my room. Did I get more free time? 
No. I'm kind of tired, so I laid down in bed. That's how that works. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving alter ego, but I was in, I was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like in Get Out where you get sucked into the chair and Makoto just gets sucked into the bed. I had completely dozed off. You okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Bing dong. Shut up. <laughs> Did I get you? Yeah. Sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Nope, that is the bathroom. <laughs> Good job. Shut up. I was just spamming buttons. Rattle, rattle. Riddle, rattle. Makoto. Makoto, get out here. Kyoko, what's going on? Indeed. Hina just came to see me and she was white as a ghost. What'd you call her? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something's happened. What? As soon as, as soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Oh, uh, thank you for warping me here. <laughs> for once. Hi. Alright then. <laughs> what? I'm like vagina height for her. <laughs> nah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so hard to turn in this game. Yeah. The game also has like a hard time rendering the rec rattle, room for rattle. Some, some reason, so let's find out how this works. Yay. Has the murder already happened? can't get the door open. Is it locked? Anyway. I better hear what Hina has to say. Yeah. <laughs> Kodo, Kyoko! Hina, what's wrong? Something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? There was a window in the rec room door, and I hurried to look inside. And when I did... Sakura? Sakura? Sakura. Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in a chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door open. Oh, yes, thank you for doing it again. <laughs> I tried knocking, I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. So, what should we do? What are we going to do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room. But the door's locked, right? And if we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. Listen to me. We're going to force our way in. I just said... Wrong. The door isn't locked. Uh, yeah, the door isn't locked. It's not, a, it's not locked because the rec room doesn't have a lock. Huh? Then why... It would seem... It feels like the door is... Uh, press, pressing up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair? In other words... Either way, the door isn't locked. Which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then, there's no problem if we break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should that should be the fastest way. Jesus, okay. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, as I was saying it, I started choking on spit. <laughs> something to break it with. Wait right here. God, thank you for showing the animation the third time. In the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? No. Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure. Kyoko didn't reply. There was only silence. But that silence didn't last long. Here! I found a broom! In the classroom! Use it! Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you know, for the ultimate athletic student, I, I get out of breath real easy. And you can handle this, right, Makoto? Come on, please hurry! Okay, you two, stand back. I knock myself out with a broom. <laughs> <laughs> Bounces off the door, hits us. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could. Aiming mean, directly at the window, all it took was one solid hit. Which happened to be the third hit. I missed with the other two. 
The window shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the rec room floor. I stuck my hand through the now open window and started jostling the door, the chair leaning against the door. The jaw. Shut up. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I can just... I pushed on it with all my strength, and finally the knob turned. Sakura! Sakura! Sakurai. I ran up to her as fast as I could. But the moment I laid my hand on her... The fact that she, the way she dies is a fucking reference. Yeah. To what? I don't know, they do this a lot in anime, though. Oh, that's fair. All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body. And then... Ding dong! <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know, we know, we know, we know. Mm. Pink! Alter Ego, I've been shot. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Alter Ego, stop just standing there sadly. Help. Oh. <laughs> I call an ambulance. Oh. <laughs> huh? Oh, it hurts. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Can we move on from this? <laughs> Sakura's. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sakura's dead? dead? She's really dead? I heard Hina talking, but my eyes stared steadily forward. That doesn't look steadily. You look panicked. I could only look on at Sakura's dead body. Oh, we didn't make it in time. It happened again. Muttering to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, was she confirming that Sakura really was dead? Checking for a pulse or a reaction? Slaps her vagina. Ah! <laughs> oh god, we're back at this cross-eyed sprite of Hina. <laughs> god. It's only slightly, but I can see it and it hurts my eyes. What? No, then you're just cute. No. Stop. <laughs> I have to go get- stop it! <laughs> why do you- why do you insist on doing this? Cause you're cute. No. I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. And I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. Ow! I repeated it over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I need to examine Sakura's body. <laughs> I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. I found a piece of glass in her ass. <laughs> this explains a lot. <laughs> she couldn't have been the poop man with this glass, this shard up her ass. Oh damn it! I should have said a toothpick. <laughs> time passed. While I stood there, unable to do a thing, time just passed. And after I don't know how long. I got everyone. What? Uh, ogre! Mm, yes, yes. Ooh, so she's dead, huh? I see. Soccer has been killed? I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. Hm. Soccer was murdered. And the only... And by someone in this in this very room. Yeah, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my eyes! Oh. Ow! <laughs> uh, is that what you were going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her. It's not just someone in this room. It's your fault. It was one. It was one of you, Hiro, Biakia, Toko. One of you killed Sakura. I want you to tell me that Hiro could kill Sakura. He could kill Sakura. He fucking couldn't. No, he couldn't. He could not. No. He couldn't even get close. Look at He'd this He'd come man. at her with a knife and she'd just flex and he'd explode. He'd turn into a puddle. Ooh. ooh. What? Oh, my eye. I'm sorry. That's uh, okay. Take your time, man. Do you want the eye drops? No, I'm good. We bought those for a fucking reason. No, you bought them for a reason. Yes, so that you wouldn't have to just rub your eyes whenever your eyes started burning. 
I'm fine. I'm getting you those. Eye, I, will, I will get you those eye drops. No, I'm good. Please. Ah, shit. I, I, we're getting out. No, getting I'm good. Drops. I'm fine. No. Okay, we're back. <laughs> that took so long to get a sing. It didn't even get in your eye. It didn't even get in your eye. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. I got it in there. <laughs> I don't like eye drops. Like barely any of it got in your eye. <laughs> I don't like eye drops. Leave me alone. They're scary. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God, next time I'm gonna pin you down. No, think of think of this moment right now and then remember how I was back in school. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the No do, do, don't talk about it on uh, on the recording. But you know what time I'm talking about. <laughs> Which time are you talking about? A lot of things happen. Alright. Yeah. So yeah, just just remember that, and think of this and remember moment. Remember how you're crying about fucking eye drops. Yeah. <laughs> okay, back to the game. Jesus, you're... H. F. Christ, dude. <laughs> you're accusing us before we even begun invest the investigation. I don't need an invest. I don't need to investigate anything. <laughs> <laughs> because you hated her. You hated this. You hated the sight of her! Oh, One of you did it, I know it! You know it? <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think of your power- <laughs> Okay, man. I didn't know your power level would increase by this much just by getting mad! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, oh, no! Oh, there's more! What are you doing uh, here? Come hang on. on. You okay? Yeah. Isn't it obvious? I'm just here to hand out my little murder flyer. It's the Monokuma file. And don't get so mad, Miss Asahina, or you're gonna run. You're gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours. Ew. Now then, with that, I hold on. There's something I want to ask you. Oh yeah, what's that? What's that? Huh? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. What? Uh, uh, okay, that, that. How many times have we accused them of doing this? Probably every fucking time. Uh huh. Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again, and then. In other words. Then I killed her? Hmm? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. That whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came. Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting to. Ugh, oh, God. Without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Phew. Which, thank God for that, it saved me the trouble of having to go through our little fight. Because even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey, um... I gotta tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she'd violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. She yeah. just flexed and all the spears just bounced off. I was fucking terrified! So I don't know who it was, but whoever the Blackened is this time, I owe you one! What is this? You owe them one? That's what I said! Whoopsie, before you get all pissy potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Shing! Cause I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well, I, for one, am glad it was Sakura. She was working for the Mastermind, after all. You get assaulted again. How can you say that now? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game is about to begin. It has already begun. Whatever. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at who uh, at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway, right now our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Then let us decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Nina? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay, then Hina is guard number 1, but we need one more. Hmm. Kyoko, that is you. What? Ooh, that's you, whatever. No. Me? Hmm. You're always a thorn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Con 
Consider that an order. She doesn't work for you. An order? That's fine. Fine, I'll stay behind. Hmm. Then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on! Before that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is... Hiro, Byakuya, Toko, none of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. What? It's your One fault. of you killed Sakura. <laughs> I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are, are in just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting... <laughs> I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if that means I have to use force, you're not getting it, you're not gonna win against Jack. <laughs> Dude, I feel like anybody here could kick the shit out of Byakuya. Well, yeah, look at him. Look at this man. He's such a, I fucking hate him so much. Everyone hates him, no one likes Byakuya. Isn't, like, in every game, isn't there one character who just fucking everyone hates that, like, makes it to the end? I don't know, I feel like they get more creative with it, though. Because I don't... Who made it to the end of... Well, uh, okay, so... I, uh, I'm just probably going to block out the names here. It was our character. There was... Um, You're going to have to list them by like, their ultimates. Or a description of them. Oh my god, well, there's our character, the ultimate nobody. <laughs> uh, then there is the ultimate gangster. The ultimate gym, gymnast. The ultimate princess or whatever the one you hate and then there was you like though i like <laughs> um i think that was it yeah that was it that was all of them five only only five made it to the end of the second game so really no assholes made it to the end well, yeah, well, I mean, he, the, the gangster dude started off as an asshole, but he got better. He had, a, he had, like, a legitimate redemption arc. Yeah, he did. Like, that's something I do want to point out about the, the but second I, game. But I really think the asshole of that game ended up being, like, um, uh, uh, what was his name? I, I want to, I want to say something real quick. We've played the second game, um, we, we've just bleeped out all the names that we said. I probably just skipped over it. I do want to say real quick, though. I actually enjoy the characters in the second game way more than the characters in this game. Yeah, well, everyone, else, like, uh, if you look up the uh, reviews for the second game, everyone thinks it's, like, a superior game to the first one. Like, it still has a lot of the same issues, I'm gonna say, as this game, but it's not as bad. Because, of course, in this game, they'll spend hours where they, literally, they don't, they still, they'll talk for hours and say nothing. Uh, but in the second game, I feel like that issue isn't as big of a deal and it's and less it, and it has stupid. way more enjoyable characters too yeah not not as many of the characters are just like insufferable well, they're I mean, just like a bunch of weirdos it makes sense though because this this game was the first one of its kind and like not visual novels just like this scenario it was the first Danganronpa your, game. yeah so they're bouncing off of nothing but with the second game they're bouncing off of this game which like i have to admit it's also very difficult to make a sequel that's better than the first game because you're either going to make like a really good game or you're just gonna like crash and burn like for doom doom 2016 really good game and then the, they uh, that's the second one i was like it looks really good i'm afraid that they're gonna like put too much in it or something like that and it's just not gonna be a good game and then it turned out being one of my top five favorite games of all time <laughs> and then there's v3 and then we didn't even finish v3 V3. We, got, we got one trial in, and then we were like, let's become YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> and to be honest, I did not enjoy a lot of the characters in V3 outside of, like... You didn't? Outside of a couple of them. What about Mage Girl? We didn't interact with the characters a whole lot. Well, that's because it was the first trial. Yeah, it was the first trial. Um, we, like, Oh, shit. I just realized what I've been doing for this game, I won't be able to do for the third game. Oh, why? Because I don't know who's going to die. Oh, that's right. So I'll just have to be hanging out with people and then like someone's going to die and I'm like, shit, I didn't get their ability. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let, let's continue. Sorry, we went on a little tirade. Yeah, let's continue on with this. Um, God, we've been recording for almost three hours. Sorry. It's not your fault, it's mine. Wait, really? Oh my God, yeah. Um, this is why I warned you that the file would get big. No, nah, it's fine. Well, it appears, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear now. I won't ask. Uh, I won't ask you to let us all in. Just let me in. 
What? I don't really care. You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. No, don't really care. I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. And you, Hero, do you really object? Completely ignores that. Uh, um. yeah, if you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear. Then it's decided. Nothing's decided! Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina, but you but you really should agree to his request. But Hey. We we have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us still alive and and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess it's I guess that's okay. But no matter what, Biaka, you're absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally. Who would want to touch a filthy dead body? He tries so hard to provoke people, and I really wish he got, like, slapped more in this game. Well, I mean, at, at the end of the game, he ends up... No, not at the end of this game, actually, in the future. He ends up working under us, so... Yeah, because that's the thing, is that, like, Kyoko says that, like, one day your attitude's gonna come back to bite you, and we never really see that. No, it's here. It's really? in this case. Because uh, this is the case where he's actually completely thrown off, because he doesn't understand people's emotions make them act, like, unreasonably. Yeah. Remember? It's him accusing someone based off of his logic that is going to get him executed, and then we save his ass. Yeah, I guess so. It's probably because you don't remember because you don't like this game. <laughs> also, I just, I tune out a lot of stuff involving Byakuya. He's such an unlikable character. He has no redeeming qualities, really. That's enough fighting. We we need to focus on the investigation from uh, from here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sakura's killer, all me. of us face execution. Yay! <laughs> Finding out who killed Sakura. <laughs> it's not a matter of hoping we can do it. Oh, God. <laughs> if we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a, it's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. <laughs> uh, do you want to call this one early? Because we're like, yeah, we yeah. like a minute. Because it's like we're about to start the investigation. And when an investigation starts, there's really no way of like stopping them in the middle and a satisfying place. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, join us next time to start the investigation so we can find out who killed Sakura Ogami, the ultimate martial artist? Martial artist. The ultimate martial artist. The strongest being on the planet. Uh, who could kill such a being? How could they kill her? Does that... The fucking splotch of pink back there have something to do with it? Who spilled cherry jam? Find out next time, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.